Hello guys, welcome to my first GCB tutorial. In this tutorial I will show you how to create a recipe manager as a Joomla component using GCB. This video is the first part of this tutorial. Please subscribe now to my channel to receive notifications when the next parts are published. At the beginning, let me summarize what you will learn in this video. How to create a component in GCB with basic configuration. How to create some Joomla form fields with different types. How to create admin views with basic configuration. How to add the fields to the admin views and set their options and properties. How to customize the list of the admin view to show image preview as a bootstrap popover. Let's get our hands dirty and develop a real world example Joomla component easily and quickly with the help of JCB. To start this tutorial, make sure you have a working Joomla website and install JCB if not installed yet. If you want to know how to install JCB, I will add a link to the installation method in the description below. Now, open your favorite browser and log into the back end of your Joomla website. Load JCB dashboard from the component menu. Click on Joomla Components icon to load the GCB Components Manager. Click New to create the Recipe Manager component. Fill in the basic and required information as you can see. At least you need to fill in the required fields. Note that the company author and license information are automatically populated by the information entered in JCB configuration options. Other tabs and options will be explained in more details in upcoming videos. Now, save and close to proceed to the next step. Great! You can see the recipe manager component is published and ready to add admin views to it. To create the admin views, load the admin views manager from the side menu. Click new to create the first admin view. It will be the recipe admin view. Notice that you need to add single record and list of records names. Also, you can select an expressive icon to be added in the components this dashboard to access this view. Fill in the short description. Save and close to add the next admin view. I used to filter the admin views list to only display the admin view of the component I am working on. Repeat the same actions to create the ingredients admin view. Let's go back to the components manager to add the admin views we have just created to our recipe manager component. Let's add the recipe view at first. Enable the main menu option to have a menu item for this view. 
also enable the dashboard option to show the icon of this admin view in the components dashboard. Go ahead and add the ingredients admin view following the same steps. Save and close to proceed to the next step. Let's create some fields to add to our admin views. Load the fields manager from the side menu. Click new to create the units field. It will be of list type. The list field type is used when you want to show a set of predefined options to allow the user select one of them. First of all, let's select list as the field type. Fill in the name. This is just the GCB name. The form field name will be added in the properties below. Change the label to a meaningful one. I will set this field to be required to prevent creating an ingredient record without specifying its unit. As you can see, the list options are added in a predefined format where the options are comma separated and the pipe symbol is used to separate the value from text. Ok, let's configure the database options of this field. This is necessary to decide how the field data will be stored in the database. I choose to store this field data as var character of length 255 and the default value is 0. Well, this field is ready now. Let's save and create another one. Let's create the quantity field as a number field. This field type has some special properties to set up the minimum and maximum values and the step to increase decrease the value. Again, define how this field will be stored in the database. Let's store it as integer. This field is ready as well. Save and close to proceed. Now everything is ready to add some fields to the ingredient admin view. Let's go back to the admin view manager and click the admin fields of the ingredient view. In this form, we will add three fields to the ingredient view. Name, unit and image. We have only created the unit field. The name and the image fields are shipped with GCB. However, we can create them 
they are not existing. Let's configure the name field to show in all list views. Also, I will set it as Python and make it sortable, searchable, and display it as a link in the link in the list view to click on to edit the record. Okay, let's add the next field, the quantity field I mean, and configure it to show in all list views. Sorry, should be the unit field, not quantity. Don't worry. The other options you have see, you can see here will be explained in more details later. Well, now add the energy field, but leave the admin behavior as default, so it will not be displayed in the list view, but it will show in the edit form, of course. Great. Let's say, save the edit fields and compile the component for the first time and see how it is easy to compile and install it without the need to collect and package the files manually. For the sake of simplicity, let's remove the recipe admin view before we compile this component because it does not have fields yet. Now, load the compiler from the side menu, select the recipe manager from the components list, and compile. May take few seconds to compile. Well, it is compiled successfully. Great! You have a compiled and packaged release, which you can install or download to your local computer. JCB has worked out some estimations and statistics for the time and work you have saved in case you were developing this component without JCB. Isn't it great? Let's install the component. Great, it is installed successfully. And you can access it and add records instantly. Look how beautiful is the dashboard. Okay, go and add a new ingredient yourself to test the component you have developed. Let's play with the new component and add some real ingredients with beautiful images. Great! We have a working component now. We want to see how it is easy and powerful at the same time to customize it. Let me show you. Suppose you want to display the image in the list view and want you to do that. Let me show you how to do it. Go to the admin fields of the ingredient view 
and to change the admin behavior of the image field to show in all lists. Save and compile the component. Great. Everything goes well. Restore the component and refresh the ingredients list to see how it looks like. Well, the image field is shown in the list view now, but it is displayed as a file path. What if we displayed it as a thumbnail with the pop-up to show the full image? I think this will be great. Okay, let's do it. Because Joomla has Bootstrap already integrated and loaded, I will use the pop-over feature of Bootstrap for this purpose. Okay, click on the ingredient view to edit it and go to the JavaScript tab where you will add the required code to replace the image file path with bootstrap popover element. I will add this code in the list view footer section to be called every time the ingredient list is displayed. Great. Let's save and compile the component again to show how it will look. Install. Refresh. Oh, great. Isn't it too easy to customize? Nice job, isn't it? This tutorial part is completed. You have created your first component with GCB and played a little with it. Now subscribe if you didn't to be notified when the next part is published. In the next part we will complete the recipe admin view. Please like if you think this video is helpful. Share it with your friends who are looking for Joomla development tutorials. Bye, see you in the next video.